It's Sunday morning. It was the corner of uh, Bathurst and Dundas. The Toronto Western Hospital across the street. It's a very large hospital. And right across on the south uh, east corner, we have a um, Toronto Public Library. So it's a great uh, resource area for people to read up about um, a lot of variety of topics like physical activity, healthy eating, and uh, smoking cessation. And right beside the library, we've got uh, Skating Core Community Center. And they they offer a wide variety of programs here, just to show you. So they have uh, sports and recreation programs for all ages, uh, programs for people with disabilities, swimming. They have an indoor pool as well as an outdoor pool, uh, emergency child care, Saturday family club. Uh, English and citizenship and special events and fully accessible wheelchair programs. So I think this is a great um, range of programs that they offer here to cater to the diverse community that exists in this area. Uh, we've got uh, Chinatown to the east and Little Italy to the west. Um, and just a, a really mix of different ethnic groups that live in this community. Here's a jungle gym for children to play in and I think um, definitely when the, the weather is nicer and today's actually the Santa Claus parade so we don't have as many kids in this area so they're all up on the uh, parade route. But I just wanted to take you to uh, different areas within this uh, park just to show you how they use this you know small area but really um, fit in a lot of different types of activities here, uh, really catering towards different people with uh, different interests and different capabilities. And I think that's really important when we're trying to promote physical activity is really having that variety to cater to different people's needs and interests. Um, here you can see in front of me is the um, ice rink. And uh, this ice rink is used, I guess, in the, the winter months. It's going to be opening uh, soon, in uh, December 8th. But in the summertime, they actually convert the space. Well, they don't re really need to convert it much. But um, it is used for ball hockey. So people like to get into here. And just around the corner here, there's this open area. And this is what I was hoping to show you today, but this is a great use of uh, space in the downtown area. It's actually first of its kind in Toronto. Um, it's a skateboarding park, and um, I guess when the weather's a little bit nicer, they have they had a lot of um, huge ramps here, and it's really heavily used by the uh, skateboarding community. So really encouraged uh, them to get off from different, um, you know, inner city ramps and whatnot and really putting them in a safe environment by allowing them uh, to access these ramps. And then here again we have another uh, jungle gym. Here's the uh, outdoor pool I was telling you about. And there's a waiting pool as well. So you see a lot of variety catering to a lot of people at different ages. There's a baseball diamond there in the background. And lastly, there's a uh, basketball court. And somebody's playing there now, I believe. So this is a great use of... Um, urban space that really promotes physical activity. Um, it is very accessible by the um, Toronto Public Transit. So people can access this by walking, biking, jogging, uh, taking the um, transit. It's equitable because um, it really caters to a wide variety of audiences from children to seniors 
different ethnic groups, newcomers. And it's really important when we're trying to promote physical activities that we, we engage people at all ages. It's, a, it's sustainable as well because really, I mean, once you set up these areas, they really don't need much upkeep other than the swimming pool. So it really can be quite affordable. So I hope this is inspirational to some cities um, that are trying to develop or redevelop their urban space. Try to cater to a wide audience, um, make things sustainable and equitable and, and accessible to everyone.